reconstitution using 100 mg vials. Now that we've set out the material and calculated the dose, let's go over the step-by-step -step reconstitution process for Activase. It's important to reconstitute Activase immediately before administration using only sterile water for injection, USP, without preservatives, and the transfer device, which are provided in the Activase package. Begin by removing the protective caps of the Activase powder and the sterile water for injection and swab the top of each vial with an alcohol wipe to reduce the risk of contamination. Notice the center of the stopper is where the transfer device is inserted. The keyhole port is for the needle to withdraw the discard dose and bolus dose. Then remove the transfer device from its wrapper and remove the protective cap from one end. Insert the piercing pin vertically into the stopper of the sterile water for injection, keeping the vial upright. Remove the protective cap from the other end of the transfer device. Holding the vial of Activase upside down, position it so the center of the stopper is directly over the exposed pin of the transfer device. Push the vial of Activase down onto the transfer device, making sure the device is pierced through the center of the Activase vial stopper. Invert the two vials so the vial of Activase is on the bottom, and the sterile water for injection is on top. Allow the entire contents of the sterile water for injection to flow down into the Activase vial. Remove the vial of sterile water for injection and the transfer device from the Activase vial. Safely discard the transfer device and the diluent vial. Mix the solution with a gentle swirl or slow inversion. Do not shake the Activase vial. It's normal for slight foaming to occur. Allow the solution to stand undisturbed for several minutes to allow large bubbles to dissipate. Remember, no medications should be added to infusion solutions containing Activase, and any unused solution should be discarded. Treating Acute Ischemic Stroke, AIS, with Activase Altaplase. Please see the full prescribing information for important safety information. Dosing and administration using 100 mg vials. Now that we've calculated the dose and successfully reconstituted the 100 mg vial of Activase, let's move on to administration using the sample calculations for our 180 pound or 81.8 kg patient as a guide. To review, the discard quantity for our sample patient is 26.4 mg or milliliter equivalent. This is the excess quantity that should be withdrawn from the 100 mg vial and discarded before administering Activase. Remember, these calculations are based on the FDA-approved dose of Activase, 0.9 mg per kilogram. The total dose should not exceed 90 mg. 10% of the total dose should be administered as an initial bolus over one minute. The remaining dose should be infused intravenously over 60 minutes. Visually inspect the Activase solution for particulate matter and discoloration before administration. To ensure proper dosing, Discard excess by removing the excess drug from the Activase vial. To remove the discard quantity of 26.4 milliliters, slightly tilt the vial and insert the needle into the keyhole port of the vial top, away from the puncture site made by the transfer device. Do not prime the syringe with air. There is also an alternative method where you can prepare the infusion set and remove excess from the Y-side injection port. It is important to properly discard the excess quantity. Next, prepare the bolus dose. The bolus dose is 10% of the 0.9 mg per kilogram dose. In this case, remove 7.4 mg or milliliters. Prepare it one of the following ways. Using a syringe and a needle, remove the dose from the Y-side injection port on the infusion line after the infusion set is primed. Or, remove the dose from the vial before the vial is attached to the infusion set. Be sure to insert the needle into the keyhole port of the vial top, away from the puncture site made by the transfer device. Do not prime the syringe with air. Now, insert the spike from the infusion set through the center of the stopper of the vial of reconstituted Activase, using the same puncture site made by the transfer device. Peel the clear plastic hanger from the vial label and hang the Activase vial from the resulting loop. Prime vented infusion tubing with Activase solution. Then administer initial IV bolus over one minute. Administer the IV bolus directly through the Y-site injection port of the vented IV tubing, or program the infusion pump to deliver the bolus dose.
Immediately following the bolus dose, infuse the remaining 90% of the 0.9 mg per kilogram dose over 60 minutes. In this case, the infusion dose would be 66.2 mg or milliliters. Lastly, to ensure the full dose is delivered, spike a small bag, for example 50 milliliters, of 0.9% sodium chloride USP. With the end of the Activase infusion set, when the Activase vial is empty and continue the infusion at the same rate.